is absurd because there's Carol, so many scientists dissenting. Some groups say uh, the, the 2013 Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, that they failed to recognize <laughs> this pause in global warming. Is that an issue? Do they have a point? There's been this sort of 18-year pause where you don't, it's not warming up. I can't speak to that. I, the, uh, uh, you can't speak to I it. can't speak to that particular IPCC uh, anomaly. anomaly. Uh, the, I mean, the fact is, you know, uh, this is pretty basic physics, uh, what we're talking about in terms of the gases uh, and the effect that they have on trapping heat. Uh, the, uh, it's, and we, you know, the fact is, it's common sense that if we're going to be throwing up, if we're going to be burning uh, and, and putting unlimited pollution into the air, mm -hmm. that eventually it's going to have an impact. It's, a, it's, it's, yeah. it's not unlike dumping a bunch of toxic chemicals into a uh, pond it's, and it's, expecting it's, the frogs to be okay. They're, they're simply yeah. not. We're seeing, we're seeing observations. The, the most, one of the most important things are the observations. And the fact is you probably can find somebody to, to be skeptical about everything, mm. right? Especially in this internet yeah. day and age. I can't speak to that. And there has been, a, according to satellite data, multiple satellites, 18 years, five months currently, with no global warming. If you look back at the ensemble of climate models, out of 117 models, 114 over predicted warming, or, or predicted warming that didn't occur. So the models have been failing. In terms of, you know, this simple settled physics and science, we've had ice ages with CO2 five times higher than we are today. The geologic history of the Earth contradicts these claims.